My last week in Switzerland felt like such a dream to be honest. I feel like when you know something is coming to an end, that's when you really begin to appreciate it. It's sad to say goodbye to a place and to people that you have fallen in love with. I feel like I've felt so many deep feelings this past month traveling, and it's just reminded me how beautiful life can be. I say this all the time, but I feel like whenever I've pushed myself out of my comfort zone, that's really when I found the most inner transformation. And then when it was time to say goodbye, me and Hitomi parted ways and and I headed back home. I wasn't sure honestly how I was going to feel when I got back home. Oh my gosh, stepping back into my house, it was just such an indescribable feeling of bliss. These first days being back home have been so beautiful. This is definitely my favorite time of year, the end of summer. Oh, I just love it so much. The days are always really hot here in August, but then at night, it cools down a lot and you start to feel the early chill of fall in the air. I love the changing of seasons, especially when the heat of summer finally starts to cool down. I also really love when the days start to get a bit shorter and the nights get longer. I don't know why, but I'm definitely one of those people that really comes alive in the darkest hours of the night. The sun can just be so harsh and bright sometimes, but in the night, everything is softer and quieter and the world is a little more gentle. And as the nights are getting longer, we get to spend more time in those hours of reflection. Maybe that's why I love this time of year so much, because after a busy, hectic, crazy summer, we finally get to settle down a bit into a calmer way of being. Good morning, everyone. So it's around 4 a.m. right now. I've been waking up around this time every day just because the days are so hot here. I mean, it gets up to like 110 in the daytime. I mean, that is so hot. Um, but the nights are really cool. So I've been like just spending a lot of time in the dark <laughs> this past week. It has been really nice. And oh my gosh, I just can't even explain how good it feels to be home. I mean, seriously, it just feels so nice. It's been so nice seeing Logan and my family and oh, I'm just, I'm just in love, you guys. I'm back, it feels so good. There's seriously just like such a magic in the air during this time of morning. Like the whole world is asleep. And the sun's rising now. Oh, but the days are getting shorter, that's for sure. Winter is like coming very soon. Okay. <sighs> oh, this is really cold. <sighs> Thank you so much to Jackery for sponsoring this video. If you're thinking of going on an adventure in the snow or in the sun, having a Jackery is the best way to have power in any off-grid situation. This winter in a snowstorm, I went camping and using my 1500 watt solar generator, I was able to power a little portable heater and stay warm all night in my tent. I've used the Jackery in so, so many amazing fun ways over the years. I love the freedom of being able to have power in any off-grid situation. Using their 200 watt Solar Saga solar panels, you can recharge the generator in only 1.8 hours to fully charge. If you're on a road trip, you can recharge it using the cigarette lighter in your car or just simply plug it into a regular wall outlet. On September 1st, Jackery is launching a new product, the Jackery 1000 Plus Solar Generator. You can check out this product plus all their others on their website using the link in the description. Thank you again, Jackery. The silence right now is like really amazing. I didn't realize how much I missed being home until I got here and I, I'm in love. So after I came home, I was so exhausted. I spent like three straight days in bed, just tired from this month of travel. My body was tired. I also had a ton of laundry and cleaning to do. 
And the best part of coming home has been being able to cook and bake again in my kitchen. I've been foraging a lot these past days as well, harvesting many of the wild plants that grow near me. Last year, I found this spot for elderberries, but in order to get there, you have to wade through a bunch of kind of like marshy waterways, but the elderberries on the other side are like the most amazing tasting berries. Oh my gosh, I think it's just because they have so much water, they're really plump and just so delicious. What I love about foraging for wild plants is wild foods haven't been bred to create a uniform crop, so they have a much greater amount of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. They also just taste so far superior to regular food in my opinion. Also, it's just so fun to go out and find things wild in nature to take home with you. Elderberries have so, so many health benefits. I ended up coming back the next day and picking more because I have a lot of things I want to use them for. Okay, you guys, I feel so conflicted in life right now. I came home in order to deal with some family things. My sister is about to give birth, and once that happens, there's a part of me that wants to just pack my bag again and just sell all my belongings and go travel the world and learn and work at different farms and communities. But then there's this other larger part of me that wants to just be at home forever baking and cooking and maybe having some children. <laughs> I feel like a crazy person sometimes because I feel like those two lives are completely opposite. Something about this past year I've been thinking about how much fun it would be to have children. What is it about getting older that that feeling becomes extremely strong? <laughs> So I made these little elderberry muffins. Oh my gosh, they're like the best things I've ever had in my life. This season, I really wanna can a bunch of elderberry syrup to give as gifts for the holidays. I get so excited about gifting things to people that I made, I don't know, but also thinking about the winter right now gives me so much anxiety because I have not been preparing at all oh my gosh if i end up staying here it is going to be a complete mess wow <laughs> elderberry syrup is really really good for the winter season it's super good for your immune system also it's really easy to make you just have to de-stem the berries and then boil them for about 30 minutes with some water strain out the berries add some honey and then a little bit of lemon and yeah I'm gonna pressure can these jars tomorrow I think Coming back home and seeing the state of my garden, wow, it is such a mess. But it's been kind of fun to harvest all the things I planted in the spring. Fresh summer potatoes are the best tasting thing ever. There's weeds everywhere though. Having a garden is such a romanticized thing, I feel like, but no one ever talks about how much damn work it is. It's so much work, but then tasting something that you grew, I would say, is a spiritual experience and so, so worth it. Does anyone else feel like time is passing extremely quick these days? Like, I don't understand where the summer went. All of a sudden, it's the end of August, and I don't know what happened. Those things scare me sometimes. I feel like I'm just going to close my eyes, and all of a sudden, I'm 50 which isn't a bad thing. I'm definitely not fearful of aging, but I am scared of not taking advantage of my time here on this earth. I feel like in my early 20s, I was completely fearless and would really do anything. And these days, I definitely have more fear in me that I feel like has really been holding me back these past years. I don't know why I've been so scared of things. Fear has almost made me paralyzed in some ways. I feel like for a long time now, I've wanted to make a change in my life. I've thought a lot about moving or maybe starting school again, but I get scared for some reason to make a change. As much as I absolutely love my life in the tiny house, 
I can sometimes get really frustrated with having such little space. I'd love to expand and maybe leave this property. I don't know, but I'm also super comfortable. <laughs> I don't know, does anyone else deal with this? Just being paralyzed by your own fear? Okay, so also I made some pancakes this week and I put the elderberry syrup on top of it. And I also added some of the blackberries that I had picked the previous days. Elderberries taste kind of like a mixture between a currant and a blueberry. Last year I made jam with them. The jam wasn't very good. I'd probably only make syrup from now on, but the syrup on top of pancakes is seriously the best thing ever. Also, it was my friend's birthday, so I made this vanilla cheesecake and then cooked down the elderberries for quite a long time, uh, probably about an hour, and then added a little sugar and lemon juice, and then I added the berries to the top of the cheesecake. Oh my gosh, you guys, this cake was so good. Wow, the top was basically like a compote. It was amazing. Um, so my garden has gotten completely wild. I don't even know what happened to it. It's amazing how tall weeds can get in just a month. I came down here yesterday to start working on these weeds, but right when I started, a rattlesnake, like a huge one, just like slithered by my foot, and so then I decided that was enough for the day. You know, you don't really know what's living in these tall grasses. I feel like this is just such a classic thing to happen to me. I am walking up into the mountains right now. I've had, seriously, the laziest week of all time. <laughs> I was just honestly so tired when I came back home. But honestly, now, after just listening to my body and resting, I feel so good. Oh, I'm walking up this mountain, and it's just such a beautiful day.